which means it's the fastest, best, the fastest version of the reel. I will have to do it again. Find it disgusting. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, my wall is a bit demolished of things, but I have a lot of packs in here. All of them are open because I was not home and it was not me that received the package because I was on vacation. Yes, I know I have to take some time off to deal with my own thoughts. But either way, this one is from Pure Lure. It's the one that I'm most excited about. And it's the one that I will open first, even though for you doesn't matter because every one of these items will be a separate video. Either way, this came in the mail a little bit banged up, but it's meant to be bent up because they put plenty of bubble wrap inside of the box, as you can see, and they send a freebie. So I paid for this with my own money. It's not was not sent by Pure Lure. So probably you guys will also get the 1.2p uh, Pure Lure braided line. It doesn't say how many strands, but either way, it's free, so it's good. And inside of the bubble wrap, we have the Miek Silver Feather. Mine, as you can see in here, it's the left-handed version the X 601 X, X Gi because mine it's the 81 gear ratio this has 5 kilos of drag 11 plus 1 ball bearings but I will go through everything on the table and I will see you guys there in a bit so this is the pure lure silver feather Miek X 601 X Gi I never see the, the slower versions on stock but in here you can see that mine is the left-handed version and it has some Chinese Fishing Association logos and in here you have all the stats that I will say to you right now. So this model has a gear ratio of 8, 5 to 1. The max drag is 5 kilos or around 12 pounds. Every day retrieval will get 74 centimeters of line or 29 inches and the bearing count is 11 plus 1. The weight we will see later on the scale. So, a bit of free stuff, this is a pure lure braided line, a bit stiff uh, and also a bit thick for what I use, but it's free, it's 150 meters pull of 1.2p line, so thanks. Continuing on with the unboxing, if you open the box, what you will get inside? So, we already saw, nice pouch for your reel. So, if we take everything out so you can have a closer inspection of the reel you see that it's also covered in plastic for the travel you will have some ins uh, specific instructions for this reel because it has the dc system and you will have to change it between the two modes you will have all the tags so this is a warranty tag i think no need for it in portugal the product tag from the MK and the rest of the instructions in Chinese. And now just exploded the diagram. Nice. Always nice to keep this because if you need to change something, you will know the order of how everything is assembled. And now I think it's some sort of certificate. Oh, it's just explaining how should you fish. So I'm a man, I will not read any of those. Just put it on the box and forget about them forever. Now, if we pick up the reel, take the plastic wrap off, you can see that it's actually pretty cool and pretty small. You see that nice anodized effect on the line guide, but let's hear how it sounds. I think we will agree that it sounds pretty good out of the box. So now I'm just messing with it, trying to get the LEDs to brighten up. 
Uh, I will explain how you change in between modes in a moment, but let's see how it compares with my old silver feather air on size and looks. One it's silver and bright and the other it's a slick black, but the profile looks the same even though the silver feather Miek it's an aluminum alloy on the frame. So the side plates are still carbon as a silver feather air, but the main body it's a aluminum alloy. So they look pretty sick and soon enough I will have also the elite so I can complete my silver feather collection. The only complaint I have about the looks of this reel, it's really the knobs. I don't like the silvery bit on the end of the knobs, they just seem faded. But now I will take the side plate off just to show you the braking mechanism and the whole assembly and also have a weight of the spool. As you can see, these are the DC brakes and they are a closed assembly. I don't have a point of reference because these are my first DC brakes, but you can see that they will go inside of the spool and this is the adjustment. If you put it on M and cast, it should swap modes. So you will have professional mode, which is low braking and normal mode, which is for noobs like me. But I will explain it better on the water. Now I'm just fooling around with the spool. As you can see, it still has some plastic cover on it. I ju will just take it out because I don't need it. The only silver plastic thing I will need, it's a foil blanket when my wife finds out that I ordered a silver feather elite, a Cast King Valiant Eagle Pro 2 and the Kingdom Micro Pro all at the same time on the 1111. But now we start the measurements. So I will start with the spool width, so it's around 22.51 millimeters, Pure Lure claims 22.6, actually if you go on the product page you will see every measurement for, uh, provided by Pure Lure. So the outer rim it's bang on with what Pure Lure says, it's 28 millimeter long and the shaft length it's around 41.56 millimeters, so well, let's call it 41.5. Now for the weight, they claim 9.58 grams. My scale is really 9.6, so it's close enough uh, for the error on my cheap drug scale. But let's put everything together again and give it a couple of spins to see if I can brighten up the LEDs. Now I'm just taking out the sticker that's annoying me to hell that comes on the side of the spool. I was able to take it out and now it's impeccable. Let's close the side plate. Actually, I have a hard time with both of reels putting the side plate on. This in the silver feather air. So 145.4 grams and they claim 146 grams. So this is actually under the weight that Pure Lure says. So pretty cool. Now I just show you the difference between the main frame and the side plate. As you can see, this is a splitted foot reel because they had to cut weight somewhere. And since it's aluminum, it shouldn't give any problems. So as you see, side plate, it's carbon fiber or some type of composite and the main body, it's aluminum. So pretty, pretty sick reel. Um, I would say that for some reason I had a harder time setting this up properly than the air, but it was like 10, 12 minutes. And now you can see the LED started to write up. So keep in mind that you will have to charge the reel. So give it a couple of casts with some heavier weights. As you can see mine, it's flashing green, blue and red. So actually pretty cool, which means that it's on master mode. So I am the master, but starting out, you can change it to normal or windy mode, whatever they call, where you will only get the blue LED light. But it's time to show you what I was doing with this reel this week on the water. Pretty nice, no? See you next yeah. time. Bye. Yeah.